Greetings and salutations my beautiful beings of light. The Earth Mother is grateful for your presence as vibrations continue to rise. Smile you are making a difference. A reminder for you to give yourself permission to play if only for a few moments my beloveds. Do you remember when you were a child and liked to go to the park and swing? You hopped up on the swing seat gave yourself a little push and you were off going up in the air. Then after a moment of simply swinging back and forth you would tuck your legs underneath the swing seat and give yourself an extra boost to see how high you could really go. Then you would swing up in the air higher and higher with additional pumping with your legs. Remember that feeling my beloveds you imagined yourself soaring to great heights up into the air. That feeling of letting go and just permitting yourself a simple pleasure is so very critical to your own mental health my beautiful beings of grace. You are that eternal child, but perhaps only a little older in that adult body. It is the body my beloveds that ages not the eternal child inside. The eternal child is still there waiting for you to invite it out to play. The same is true my beautiful beings of light when you give yourself permission to daydream or use that brilliant imagination of yours. Yes it is that same wonderful imagination that allows you to create universes when you are not tied to the earth plane in physical form. Do you remember when the last time was that you were so engrossed in painting, writing or whatever passion you enjoy and all of a sudden decided to look at the clock? You were shocked because hours had passed but it felt like only a moment. Does any of this ring a bell my beloved beings of light? It is that same bell that reminds you that life is to be enjoyed. You brought with you those passions to remind you of your creator self at home. What have you done today that brought you a moment of joy? Where have you looked to find the beauty that is all around you? What have you nurtured today that will grow the gratitude that is so vital to raising your vibrations? Yes there is a lot going on, and yes there are commitments that you have made but there is one commitment that you need to make in order to honor yourself. If you do no more than give yourself five minutes a day to pursue some simple pleasure that brings you joy. Your joy bank account is showing a serious deficit. When you leave this earth plane and return home my beloveds, and begin to do your own personal life review, will you find that you were lacking in joy fulfillment? That is, by the way, how a life review works my beautiful beings of grace. You are the only one that is weighing your incarnation journey. There is no one, not even the creator with a scale making judgments about your earth plane performance my beloveds. Your spiritual advisors will pull out the script that you wrote for yourself. All by yourself you will begin to review what lessons were accomplished in the script and those that weren't. Next you will look to see if there were patterns in your other lifetimes that point to a specific area that needs additional work next time around. Allow this messenger to take you on a mediation journey to find a moment of joy. Sit in a chair or lie down whichever is your preference. It's time to be comfortable and undisturbed for a while as you journey within yourself through meditation. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths in and out. Visualize with each in breath, you are breathing in love and renewal. With each out breath, you are breathing out pain, fear, frustrations and doubts. With the last out breath feel your body relaxing. Allow and give yourself permission to feel the calm, peace and serenity of this safe place. My beloveds ask your ego self to perch on your left shoulder. Instruct your ego self that it is only to be an observer on this journey, it is not to participate. Through prayer to the creator please ask the creator to share with you a translucent golden shield of light. Visualize it all around you forming a bubble from head to toe protecting you from all outside influences and giving you warmth, radiance, light and power. Negatives will simply bounce harmlessly off your shield of protective light. My beloveds, the creator has responded to your prayer. Your protective bubble has been supplied. The energies for this bubble will continue to flow from the creator, cycling back down through you again and back to the creator in a continuous circular loop while you are in meditation. You are now divinely protected at this moment and nothing can even communicate with you, that is not for your highest good, without your permission. Breathe in deeply my beautiful beings of light and sense the lighter relaxed feelings of being divinely protected and guided into this meditation. Breathe in deeply and know that you are breathing to the pulse of the creator. 
Breathe in deeply allowing, seeing, and sensing within your spiritual imagination your guardian angels and invited spirit guides as they join you now. The angels take your spiritual etheric essence hands and guide you out of your physical body. The angels then direct you into your etheric spiritual heart chakra. An angel is staying with your physical essence until you return from your meditation journey. My beloveds, you are visualizing, seeing, feeling and sensing this within your imagination, your guardian angels, spirit guides and special invited guests are with you now within your spiritual heart chakra. Your angels and guides are helping you locate the golden door that says to my highest guidance within. In your imagination you have located the golden door and now you turn the etheric spiritual door knob, opening the door as you cross over the threshold knowing that you are on a spiritual growth adventure. You find yourself in a white marble corridor. Your angels meet you with play clothes and direct you to change in the changing room around the corner. Don't you just love it when the angels pick out your attire? The clothes always fit and they always make you look fabulous. You smile to yourself because you have already had just one simple pleasure by having a set of clothes that fit you perfectly. You come skipping out from the changing room and are quickly ushered down the hall to the 333rd door to your right. The door label says playtime. You open the door and cross over the threshold. You look around and find that there is yet another door to go through. You turn the handle and walk through the second door. You find yourself out in a field but you hear music off in the distance. Your angels begin guiding you toward the sound of the music. Hum you say to yourself I wonder how far this is. You can't see where the music is coming from but you do see a light in a grove of trees and faintly see some movement in the tree shadows. The angels laugh and tell you that part of having this adventure is to clear your expectations so that you can just allow whatever is up ahead to surprise you. Almost there your angels tell you. You arrive and now understand that not only was there a short walk involved but the angels had placed an invisible entrance in front of it so that you could not see what was there. You laugh with the angels as you walk through the invisible barrier to find yourself in sort of an amazement park. Not only are there lots of angels with various angelic carnival games to play but there is a merry-go-round, swings, slides, teeter-totters and a calliope playing music. Your heart swells with joy as you dash to the merry-go-round and pick your favorite multicolored animal to ride. The merry-go-round starts up and you realize quickly that the animal that you've selected is alive and is now talking to you. This beautiful multicolored unicorn's name is Bob. Bob, the unicorn is very funny and you find yourself laughing uncontrollable as the ride goes round and round. You thank Bob for the ride as you step off of the merry-go-round and walk over to the bust the balloon with a dart game. Of course you win. You continue on to all the games and then off to swings. Your angels ask you how high do you think you can swing today? You shake your head and have absolutely no idea you haven't been on a swing since you were a small child. You hop on the swing seat and push off. Oh my you tell yourself, you don't remember going this high as a child. The angels are smiling as you have to remember where you are and that here anything is possible. You let yourself close your eyes and for a moment or two you imagine that you are flying and soaring with the eagles. The wind is brushing against your face with each swing push off with your legs. The swing is going higher and higher. At one point you have gone so high that the calliope music in the background seems to have fade out. This is so much fun you tell yourself. You promise yourself that you must do this more often. The swing slows to a stop and you run off to the slides. You remind yourself of the memory when you were a child trying to slide down the slide in the middle of a hot summer. The metal on the slide was so hot it would burn your legs going down, ugh. You climb the ladder and to your amazement the slide is the perfect temperature, no burned legs here. Then you find that you just have to slide one more time and then one more time and then only just this one more time. Oh this is fabulous you can't remember when you have had this much fun ever. The teeter-totter is next and you hop on one side and an angel hops on the other. Up and down you go until your legs tire and you stop. The calliope is playing all of your favorite music. After enjoying all the things here you find that you have worked up quite an appetite. Just at that moment an angel comes around the corner with ice cream sundaes. Of course the angel has your favorite. 
it doesn't take you long to finish it and another angels comes along with a lemonade cart. Ah tired and refreshed you find yourself, smiling from ear to ear. The angels sense it is time to return and you follow them back out through the invisible door. Instantly you find yourself back in the white marble corridor. You take a moment to change your clothes. The angels remind you to remember to play. You catch a glimpse of your joy-filled essence in the mirror. Your angels lead you back across the threshold of the golden door within, back into your spiritual heart chakra and then they assist the return of your spiritual essence back into your physical form. Take a deep breath to help you reorient as you wiggle your fingers and toes. When you are ready open your eyes. Go about your day remembering that your inner higher wisdom and angelic support staff are always at your service working with you to help you reach your highest most appropriate potential. Listen for those first thoughts that pop into your awareness and know without a shadow of a doubt that you are receiving daily spiritual guidance. Beloveds you are blessed beyond words and loved beyond measure, more than any earth plane language can ever express. I am Archangel Michael the Creator's messenger, of love, joy, wisdom, light, peace, and grace.